let's get started I already primed my skin with my Mac um, prep and prime and I'll leave all everything down in the description box guys so you guys can pick up these products so I'm going to go ahead and use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. And the color that I'm using is Soft Sable. And this is my second time using this foundation. And I do like it so far. So I'm going to use it again in this tutorial. So I already primed my skin. I already did my eye makeup. I always do my eye makeup before I do my foundation. Because you don't want um, any eye makeup on your face. So I'm going to go ahead and use this foundation I'm gonna use about three pumps excuse the rest of the stuff on my hand I'm gonna use this flat kabuki brush y'all you guys can find this at on eBay I'll leave the link down below but I do like using really sturdy kabuki foundation brushes that looks like this it just blends in so well elf have one I think it's called the face powder brush or something it's only three dollars so if you guys don't want to order online you can always get this elf one and it works just as good i absolutely love it so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and take some of the foundation and i'm gonna just pack it on now this foundation here is not really full coverage it's medium coverage so But it matched me perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Oh, okay. It matched me really well, this foundation. So if you guys are my color or if somebody is my color and they're looking for a very medium coverage foundation, go ahead and check L'Oreal Lumi Foundation out. So as you guys can see, I'm just blending it in. It's very important to use a primer before applying foundation. It's also very important to come down to your neck area. <laughs> I sound like I'm shaking. So I can see a little more blemishes on my forehead area. So I'm going to use another pump. Because, like I said, this foundation is not full coverage, so it takes a little more product, but that's fine. Because I like products that's medium coverage because you can build up and get the perfect coverage that you want. Because when you use a full coverage foundation, sometimes it's hard to blend out. Okay, so... Now I'm going to go back with my e.l.f. brush because I love this brush and I'm just going to blend it out more with this e.l.f. brush because this e.l.f. brush is so amazing y'all and I just like it because it just gives you a flawless application. Application. <laughs> okay. So that's all the foundation I'm going to use today y'all. I don't like a really, really heavy foundation look. I like a very... I won't say natural, but not too heavy, not too cakey, not on an everyday base. So now I'm going to just use my Sephora concealer. You can use whatever you have. And this concealer is one shade lighter than me. So I'm going to go ahead and put it under my eye. Then I'm going to tap it down the bridge of my nose, tap it on my chin and tap, tap it on my forehead. What I'm doing right now is highlighting my face. Now, people do their highlighting and contouring completely different. I'm showing you guys what I do. Um, okay. Um, I usually take a beauty blender to blend out my highlight, but I only have these in front of me right now, and I kind of don't want to use these because they're, like, really stupid. I just, I don't know what the hell they were thinking about when they made these little small beauty blenders, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Now, I'm just going to spray this little beauty blender with some um, setting spray by NYX. And this is a matte setting spray, so it's going to make my concealer last a little longer. So, all I want to do is pat the concealer in. You want to come all the way up under your lash line. So you can get the real Kim K look, okay? 
and I hate this beauty blender y'all it's just so small you see how I gotta just really okay anyways I'm not using that shit that shit is just crazy I'm gonna take this pointy brush and I'll let you guys know where you can find this brush at and I like to blend my concealer out with this brush also it just works really good so I'm gonna go on this side And do the same thing. And I'm going to come up a little bit, y'all. Just so my face can be like really snatched. <laughs> okay. Now you're going to go down on your forehead I don't have a big forehead so yeah I don't have a big forehead now I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and just blend out this concealer on my forehead and on my nose just make sure everything gets blended okay so now I highlighted my face I don't know if you guys can see I don't want to look too light because I want you guys to see the difference in my face okay Let's see. you just want to make sure everything is blended in y'all you do not want to see where you started your highlight and your foundation and your contour you just do not want that look so you want to make sure you blend everything out so I put my highlight underneath my eyes on my forehead the bridge of my nose and on my chin area okay once that's blended out I'm gonna go ahead and set that concealer right away some people wait and set their concealer towards the end I like to set my I like to set my concealer really really quick because I don't want it to crease so I'm gonna use my elf how high definition under eye setting powder i've been using this like crazy it works so amazing underneath the eye so all i'm gonna do is take maybe a clean little beauty blender dap it inside the little elf stuff and go ahead and really set my under eye as you guys can see, I'm really packing in the color. I don't know what I did with my beauty blender. My real beauty blender. But I'm just kind of packing the color inside. Packing the powder inside the concealer. Because I really don't want it to crease. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. I'm really packing the color in you want to look flawless all night make sure you really set your face okay okay I think that's enough now I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose with the same powder my chin everywhere that I highlight I'm gonna go ahead and set now, I'm going to go over my brows a little bit with the setting powder. I'll let you guys know why I do that in another video. But it keeps your brows on, oh my gosh, so long. Okay. Once you set your face really good, you can let that sit for about two minutes while you contour the rest of your face. Now, for contouring things have changed I used to do really really harsh lines in my contouring my cheekbone area and stuff I don't I no longer do that I'm going to show you guys how I get a little more definition in my face I'm going to use my favorite contouring powder and this is by elf and it's called contouring and blush powder and it's called Turks and Calso, I think that's what it's called, but I'll leave the name down below so you guys can purchase it, and it's only $3. I don't really use the blush side because it's a little too light for me, but 
as you guys can see, I use this faithfully. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Now, I used to use more of a sturdy brush, so you can see the line a little more better, like this brush here. But lately, I have not been doing that. I've been using a fluffy brush, and I still go on the same areas what I used to contour in. And I'm applying the contour right there. But with a fluffy brush, it just makes it look a little more natural. And as you guys can see, I have not set my foundation yet with any type of powder. Um, lately, I haven't really been setting my foundation with a powder, only my concealer. Okay, so you guys see a little more definition on this side. This side is a little more flatter. This side has a little more definition. I don't know. You guys see that like shadow? So that's what I've been liking lately. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'm just buffing it in because you don't want to see you want your contour to look natural you don't want to see a big contoured line okay so that's it with my contouring now I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the powder that's on my face Make sure you wipe that away. And one thing I like about the e.l.f. setting powder, it don't you it just don't change your concealer color or your foundation color. It kind of keeps everything the same. I just absolutely love it. I still love my midnight, but I kind of love the e.l.f. one a little better. Okay, so that's me with the highlight and contour on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face on camera because why not? <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and use, sorry about that y'all, my Sonya Kashuk Bronzer and Goddess Glow uh, and Goddess. And I absolutely love this bronzer. Oh my gosh. Uh, and it's fall and I'm still bronzing my skin up because I love this bronzer so much. And I really kind of put it all over my face. I just love the look. It just gives off a really pretty look. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a little blush. I'm not really blush crazy. I'm not really a blush girl. I can skip blush. Some. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to use blush. I'm just going to take this contouring powder and just rub it on my cheeks a little bit just so I can get a little more color to my face so that's good enough for me want to make sure everything is blended in so okay so we're gonna move on to the lips um first we're gonna set your face though so I'm gonna use my favorite NYX Mac matte finishing setting spray Ooh. and you're going to just let that dry and once it dry it's going to just look so pretty so I'm going to go ahead and use my Jordana brown suede pencil which I use every day almost every day I'm going to go ahead and line my big old lips <laughs> You can buy this um, pencil from Walgreens for like a dollar or two. So I just line my lips. Today I'm going to use my Milani lipstick. I'll leave the name down below y'all. Um, maybe like a nude color. Because I'm always wearing nude. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of gloss in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little gloss. This this gloss is by um, I'll leave it down below. 
since I don't want to mess up anybody's name. And I'm just going to put it right in the center of my lip. And that's it, y'all. This is what I do every day. I'm going to go ahead and put my little fake mold because I like that. This is what I like, okay? Yes. And that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I don't contour my nose much. I just do it a little bit because, I don't know, I just don't want, I think I like my nose. So I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of a contour to this nose area. But I like my nose, so I don't like to change the shape of it much. And you want to make sure you blend the contour lines on your nose. You guys, you do not want to walk around with um, crazy looking um, contour, a, con a crazy looking contour nose. I'm just talking. Okay, y'all, so this is all of the face. And guys, I did want to add, it's okay to change the lips. I always do nudes lips so I wanted to show you guys a different color that you can wear with this look I'm gonna just go ahead and line my lip I'm just I'm a nude girl I love nude so I'm gonna go ahead and use this color by Milani is the new collections, the new collection lipstick. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Also, um, I think I want to put a gloss on top of it. So here's another look you can go for if you don't want the nude. Very, very simple. It takes me about 20 minutes to get dressed. 20 minutes to do this face. It's very simple. It's very, very simple, y'all. It's very, very simple. And I know you guys can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video if you would like to see more beauty-related videos. Like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.